Hi, and welcome to write out number five. I'm trying a new camera today, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, first thing we're going to do is don't touch our face and share the screen. And go to full screen. And today it's going to resist me again. Okay. Oh, there we go. Number five. And as you know by now, I'm Cheryl Clark and I'm reading out the um, slides um, for our vision impaired writers as well as everybody else who might want to take notes. Okay. Today's poem. Um, is about a place, Bird Market in Mong Kok, which is in Hong Kong. At dusk, it quietens slowly. Cages are covered with thick hoods. Birds chirp reveille before sleep. Booths still sell packets of seed, jeweled swings, tiny bird treats. A woman pushes plastic bags across the table, and a thousand grasshoppers and crickets leap and crackle together. A dusty, bedraggled macaw shifts on his perch. Eight canaries squeeze close, a rainbow of yellow and orange, heads dipping into sleep. In the corner, a bulbul flutters and jerks like an overwound toy, red cheeks flashing in the gloom. Who trapped him from his woodland perch and crammed him in his tiny prison? He can sense the sky and trees above him somewhere, bangs his head over and over on his new horizon. Now your poetry writing prompt for today. One of the wonderful things about leaving your house, even at the moment, if it's just leaving your house, is what you see and experience that's unexpected. A walk around your neighborhood can be enough to provide you with a poem idea. The poem about the bird market? Well, I was in Hong Kong and I went to see the famous flower market and discovered the bird market behind it. Very unexpected. You can use where you live or look back on photos for a place or an experience that was different in some way. Brainstorm words and images that encapsulate it for you. Remember, of course, the five senses and then write a poem. Now the fiction writing prompt. There are lots of places on the internet where you can find famous first lines of novels and stories. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It's probably a very famous one from Dickens. It was a pleasure to burn. It's from Fahrenheit 451. It was a bright cold day in April and the clocks were striking 13. It was I think from a clockwork orange. So Google some famous opening lines, then choose one you like and change at least two of the key words. So just as an example, not a very good one, but that's all right. It was a stinking hot day in December when my sister struck me on the nose. From your new first line, write a story. Now your creative non-fiction or memoir writing prompt for today is thinking about today's poem Start with a similar idea, a place or an experience that was unexpected or surprising to you in some way. Brainstorm ideas and images first, using the five senses, and free write or free associate to bring out more of what you remember. Write a piece about the place or the experience, but don't feel that you have to make a story out of this. It may work best as a series of fragments. I hope you enjoyed today's ideas and they've sparked something for you. Um, the noise outside at the moment is some very loud minor birds on my back, back lawn who are getting very upset at the cat, teasing them. Okay, my book recommendation for today is Writing 21st Century Fiction by Donald Mars. Now, Donald Mars is a literary agent, but he also knows a lot about fiction writing from his years of experience. And I've got quite a few of his books this is the most recent, I think. So what I like about all of his writing books 
um, as well as the wisdom uh, or the very intensive exercises that he provides that you can apply to your uh, fiction writing in particular. So this video series is on my YouTube channel, um, which is just called Cheryl Clark, on my blog at cherylclark.blogspot.com. And for those of you who have been sending me emails, um, yes, I do editing, editing and uh, manuscript assessment um, and some mentoring. And my site is at cherylclarkwritingcoach.com. Thanks for joining in today. Hope it's uh, stirred some writing for you. I will stop sharing the screen and go back to me. Hopefully, there I am. Okay, thanks for joining in and talk to you in number six.